In this video we present Cutouts, a workspace management system for tabletop groupware. Cutouts allow people to access distant work areas, to manage orientation differences, and to work in areas that are occluded by others. The system has two main parts, views and containers. In this video, we will introduce both and we will discuss several applications of the cutout system. Cutout views allow users to create portals that they can use to access distant areas and objects. To create a view, the user uses a stylus to specify the area of the workspace they are interested in. When the stylus is placed on the view toolbar, a user can drag the view to a new location and can rotate it by twisting the stylus. Note the changes in the position of the view do not affect the objects in the original reference area. When the user directly manipulates objects in the view, the changes are applied to the objects in the reference area. Several users can create views of the same area, and each person can set the orientation of their view, even if the original reference area does not face them. All changes that are made to objects in the reference area automatically propagate across all views. Users can make changes to the area that is displayed in the view, even if they don't have easy physical access to the original reference area. The reference area size can be changed by dragging the resize button. As the size changes, new items are added and removed from the view. The view's reference area can be moved across the workspace by clicking and dragging the background region of the view. Users can also increase and decrease the size of a view by using the zoom buttons on the view toolbar. The zoom feature allows users to customize the appearance of the view, but the changes don't affect objects that are located in the reference area. Cutout containers allow users to aggregate objects and to manipulate them as a group. Unlike views, containers contain objects rather than references to objects. Cutout views can be transformed into containers by using the cut or copy operations. A cutout container is created using the cut button in the toolbar. A cut operation removes the items from the reference area and moves them into the newly created container. The content of a container can be pasted back into the workspace using the paste button. Users can create copies of objects that are located in a view's reference area by using the copy button. Unlike the cut operation, copy does not remove the original object from the reference area. All operations that are performed on a container, such as rotation, translation, and resizing, are also applied to the objects inside the container. Here the container is zoomed out to reduce the size of the images. When the objects are pasted back onto the table, they retain the new size. In the rest of this video, we will discuss several applications of the cutout system. Cutout views can be used to create radar views that allow users to access all regions of the tabletop workspace. Here, large views are created that include most of the objects on the table. The views are then zoomed out so that they fit into each user's personal work area. A user can then interact with objects in the reference area using the radar view. Cutout containers can be used to help manage clutter in the workspace. Here, a cutout container is located in the center of a cluttered table. The zoom controls are used to temporarily shrink the container to free up more space. Containers can later be restored to their original size so that users can access their content more easily. Cutout views can be used to create copies of global tools so that users can access them from their local work areas. In this application, users have access to two tools, a notepad and an image tool. The person on the right creates a view of the notepad, and the person on the left creates a view of the image tool. They are then able to interact with the tools, even though they are physically out of their reach. Several people can create views of the same reference area, and the reference area can then be used to share content with members of the group. Here, people are trying to devise a storyboard using images and freehand drawings. The person sitting at the end of the table places a series of images in the reference area and proposes a story to other group members. The other users watch his actions in their local views. 